Hello, this is Kathleen, and this is a quick little video to show people how to set up your frame rate to 24 frames per second using Stop Motion Studio, which I have uh, open, and I'm going to click on New Movie. What I've got here, where I want you to see, the timeline is down at the bottom. And there's, uh, the first thing you have to do is uh, grab a camera, which I actually have a little Lumens camera right here. It's just a, a document camera with some, you know, a prop here and a prop there. You know, just basic, basically this is a desktop, real desktop, right? And it, it, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move some things around so you can see how that gets done. Uh, so we'll click on that and say done. The other thing we want to do is set a frame rate, not the timer, but over here in settings, there is an icon that looks like a little gas gauge or something. And you see it unfortunately defaults to five frames per second. That's how people are kind of getting messed up. What you want to do is move all of this over to the magic number for uh, animators is 24 frames per second, all right, right there. And then you say done, all right. And now you are ready to put some animation onto a timeline. Yours is gonna be beautiful. I'm just gonna show you, let's say this is a animation of stop motion. You take a picture, that is one frame. And I'll move the object very, very slightly and take another frame. Now there's two frames, so I've just shot on ones two, two different images. If I was doing paper animation, I could have registered paper under there. If I move that, uh, I'm ready to take another picture. So I'll hit the button again, and this is where if I wanted it to be on twos, I could shoot a, another still of that. So now let me work on twos for a little while. I'll move this a little. Well, slid out of the way, so move them over there. And I'll shoot one, two. I'm shooting on twos. I'm going to move it here. One, two. So that's the difference between shooting on ones one or shooting on twos would be taking two pictures of it so right now i've got let me uh, let me shoot a couple more little tiny movements are going to be slow and really big movements are going to be faster okay so what i have here is a half a second of animation and I can scrub through it and I can see this thing is coming to life. If I want to play it, I can just see it right there. And this is a half a second, 12 frames, some of it on one, some of it on twos. This is stop motion studio, Hit the stop. When we go back here, This would be the um, this last one that I shot here. Rename it. I would call it. Um, if I was going to name it, I'd call it O two, you know, Quaif. O two would be like the project I was working on, and then you put your name in it. Enter. Okay, so I renamed it. You have to hit enter. All right. And then this is what I could uh, upload. Save the movie. It's an MP4 when I save it. Save it. Okay. So those are some of the processes I would go through on my PC.